and call me Kenneth's damn horse. <laughs> Just kidding. It's Kat. Um, so a couple days ago, I put a poll out on my um, YouTube channel and my community posts. You guys are probably fans of some of my videos, right? But in your head, you're probably thinking or asking me, Kat, what are some of your favorite videos? Well, I got a bunch of them. So what I did was I made a playlist on my channel. The link to the playlist will be in the description as well as the end of this video. Um, and the poll that I put on YouTube is should I make a video of the videos, ranking them from my least to my all-time favorite video projects. And out of 15 votes, 80% of you said I should. So this is going to be the top 20. Wait. Top... Ten, five, ten, fifteen, top twenty favorite video projects. Um, just keep in mind that some of them might still have my um, dead name on them. So just fair warning. Uh, please do not use that name anymore. Um, and some are going to be of what I used to look like, which he should have never existed, period. So I'm going to rank them the top 20 of my favorites. So let's kick it off with the first one. Number 20. The first one is why you should never let Bop It control your iPhone. So, with that being said, here is the video. I made this end of 2023. Here it is. Okay, guys. I'm going to show you why you should never let your bop it control your iPhone. Let's begin the experiment. Turn on voice control. Okay, voice control is now on. Oh sweet, I am allowed to control Cat's iPhone? This should be fun. Now I can give commands to not just eggnog addicts like Cat, but to her iPhone as well. Okay, let's try this out. Swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe right. Whoa, this is sick. Open YouTube. Tap search. U L T E. Show grid. Tap 18. Swipe up. Show grid. Tap 20. Kenneth. 
Wow, the Boppet is smarter than I thought it was. Maybe it can help us find that unknown song. Keep dreaming, cat. Now let's really get the party started. Go home. Open settings. Tap general. Swipe up. Show grid. Tap 30. Wait, what are you doing? Show grid. Tap 34. Bop it, I swear to God, don't you di- Tap continue. Dude, seriously? This is why I'm choosing to not have children when I get older. If a toddler can figure out how to reset an iPhone, so can a bop it. But that wasn't the experiment I was trying to test here. And you eradicate all the data off my phone. Wow. I mean, seriously. Yep, and with that, you could say I proved my own hypothesis. Clearly. I'm surprised I can put up with all 150 plus of you in my closet. Shh, cat, spoiler! No one must know the population of Bopatropolis. Well, they're gonna find out eventually. Oh yeah, right, like when. Eventually can mean a week from now, or it can mean a couple millennia from now. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I don't know, how about three days from now? On the New Year's Eve special? Oh shit! Uh-huh. Gotta keep up with my YouTube channel if you want to know things like that. Since you're so damn smart on figuring out how to reset my entire iPhone, maybe you should check out my YouTube channel on New Year's Eve. Fine then, I will check out the premiere on New Year's Eve and we'll just see if you actually do know how many Boppet units populate your tiny ass closet. Okay, fine. And you guys who are watching this video should too. Check out my YouTube channel, New Year's Eve, this Sunday, December 31st, 2023, at 10 p.m. Central, to see just how many boppets I own. Let's just hope your viewers can stay awake that long, cat. Well, they should. It's New Year's Eve. You gotta ring in the new year right when it comes in. I bet you do the same for new boppet releases. Stay up all night and ring in the new version. And now you know why I've been pulling so many all-nighters while I'm in my apartment. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, I could have sworn I saw a comment on my YouTube channel this year that said something about February 29th being a bop at release date. That was probably a troll, like 95% of YouTube is. It's fake. All it is really is a leap day. Is it, though? Is it? I don't freaking know. Oh, I know. Let's ask Siri what the next... Bop it release date is. Oh, wait, I can't because you reset my phone. Well, all right then, Cat GPT. Why don't you take your smarter than you phone and ask it yourself? Fine, I will. I don't know what to do with that thing. I swear to freaking God. Number 19. At number 19 is one of the very first videos that I ever put on my YouTube channel back in February 2020. And it was actually, it was the fifth video ever. And it's the We Shop channel Bop It meme, where I took a Bop It original and a Bop It extreme, and I decided to make just a short little edit with it. So here it is. Number 18. Number 18 is my Bop It Extreme Classic Edition commercial from December 2020. 
and someone just commented recently, I basically predicted the future. Because we got the Bobbit Extreme 2022. And it's kind of it's kind of a classic edition. It's like a new revamp of the XT. So here is the Bobbit Extreme Classic Edition commercial. Are you ready to take on the Boppetition in the all new Bop Extreme Classic Edition? Play the classic game from the 90s with the original mode. As the speeds get faster, the commands get harder. Test your reflexes and challenge your brain. Can you get to 250 or will you go down the drain? Down! Killer, dude! All new Puppet Extreme Classic Edition from Hasbro Gaming. Batteries not included. Number 17. If you guys knew me from 2020, and actually were probably one of the OG viewers, you would know that I was into K pop. And so I made a meme, a K pop meme, based on the Puppet Smash. And this was probably made, I forget the date, probably, I think it was end of February 2020. So here it is. Dokju, level 1. Bonus round. Number 16 on the list is a video from TikTok that actually wasn't originally mine, but it is when Dan Klitzner opened up his birthday gift from me back in 2021. I made a canvas of his profile picture. I drew a I hand drew a canvas of his profile picture. So here is the video footage. I'm going to do an unboxing from Super Bop It fan Kane Kaiser. You can't wait to see it. Boom. It's got a very nice note here. It's a birthday present. It's a very nice note and it's just for me, so I'm not going to read it out loud. Thank you, Kane. Let's see what this is. Whoa! <laughs> Bop Fine since 1996. I bet you're dying to know what it is. My profile picture, a hand drawn canvas wow that is so cool thank you kane i love it let's see if i can get this look pretty close <laughs> thank you so much this is amazing i really love it i'm gonna put this right above this bop it so when you see the videos it'll be like this it'll be right there awesome really appreciate it thanks kane number 15 we're now at number 15, where this is actually another TikTok that I that actually I made. And it is what would happen if Britney Spears played the Bop It button. So I did some editing in there and we got this. What would happen if Britney Spears played the Bop It button? Bop it. Bop it. Bop it, bop it, bop it. Watch bop it, until the bop end. It, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, don't bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it, bop it. 
test modes with an AI uh, TTS generator and I made a test mode a custom test mode for a Pikachu themed character bop it with Ash Ketchum's voice so here is the video from 2021 so Pikachu? You ass. Six. Twist it. Bop it. Pull it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Growl. Score. I score. You did it. You beat. Bop it to keep going. Bop it to start. Solo. Pass it. Quaint. Log. Lasting. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifth, twenty, hundred. Gotta catch them all. You lost this battle. There's always next time. Try again. Nice moves. Muscle of her mind. Yes, good work. Recharge and take a break. Pikachu? Pick a bee, pick a pick a, pick a pick a, pick a pick a Number thirteen. Number thirteen on the list is when I did the song "We Wish You a Merry Christmas" with edits of photos put together using the lights of the Bop It download. And I just posted this this last Christmas in 2023. So here is that. I used the Hershey's Kiss, Hershey's Kisses um, jingle from the commercial back in the 80s. So here you go. <clears throat> Sending best wishes and much love to all. Merry Christmas, friends. Love, Katherine Kaiser. Number 12. Number 12, I'm not really 100% crazy about this one, but I thought I'd put it in the list anyway. It was when I made a Bop It themed security system type thing using Apple shortcuts on my iPhone. So check this out. Hey guys. So what would you say if I decided to make a little security system on my iPhone and my iPad? I did them both. And it was help from shortcuts which is built into iPhone and iPad. So I did a whole bunch of stuff to get it to work. Um, so I'll show you on both because I had the shortcut play a sound um, when it's activated. Um, and I had to use my AI voice cloning thing to come up with a thing. Of course, it's Bop It themed, obviously. So 
take a look at the screen. You got the Bop It button in black and white. You have four stocks as widgets. There's C M O N X, B, O P I, T T T. It says, Come on, Bop It. You guys might remember that from the 2009 Shout It commercial. But also, you see at the top here, it says, do not bop it. Well, it's supposed to tempt you. Like, you're supposed to push do not bop it to activate the alarm. And I can actually tell who gets into my phone. I'm not saying anyone will, because I always keep my phone locked when I don't use it. Unless I'm at home, then I just leave it plugged in. Anyway, let me show you what I did here. So we, oh, and I m made this text appear with an app. Come on. Wow, you found Catherine Kaiser's hidden bop it audio clip shortcut she put on her iPhone. What are you doing on her iPhone anyway? Get out of here. Number 11. The next video is one that I totally forgot I made back in 2021. It was Bop It Tetris the video game, which all it was was basically an 8-bit little drawing of Bop It Tetris that I made with pixel art or whatever and, puts, and made my own... Uh, 8-bit sound effects for it and it made it look like something you'd see on an original Nintendo so here is Bop It Tetris the video game <laughs> Number 10. We're now down to the top 10. And at number 10 is a meme or a joke that I made when it comes to the 2024 Bop It, this will happen. Except it involves after hours and I'm not in after hours anymore. So at the same time, this is kind of false, but I mean, it's pretty much how it's going for me. So, here you go. The most revolutionary product in history is coming in 2024. Why are we hanging around watching a cheap imitation? Let's get over there! <laughs> from I Kaiser and After Hours is like That was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! Number 9 Going at number 9 is Bop It Extreme in Code, my final project, 2019. So this is before I even went on YouTube. Um, this was the end of my junior year of high school. And I made a Bop It Extreme game out of 
Python, which is a type of coding language. And it actually works. And so here I demonstrate what it is about and how it works. Today, I'm going to show you a code that I made um, back in May 2019 as a final project for my intro to computer science class. So what I did was I had to use a program called repel.it um, and it was a Python program where you can make different kinds of code and different lines of code. So this I made out of my final project, I made a Bop It Extreme. So I'm going to run the code and I'll show you what to do here. So it says, are you ready to bop it? Here's what you got to do. You got to press G on the keyboard to bop it. Press Z to twist it. Press M to pull it. Press U to spin it. Press Q to flick it. After you do your command, press enter. Make sure you have caps lock on. The first five commands in the game are practice and will not be scored. Ready? Press G, then enter to start. So it's pretty much like it's in the shape of Bop It XT because you got G in the middle, Z where the twist it is. Like if you hold a Bop It Extreme like this, it has twist it here, pull it here, spin it here, and flick it here, and Bop It's in the middle. So I'm going to try and play this. My high score is 15, but I had a friend, one of my buddies from my class, he he got a high score on, he got like 48. And it's been at least a year since I played this, so we'll see what happens. So G, then enter. So bop it, twist it, pull it, spin it, flick it, bop it, bop it, pull it, twist it, bop it, pull it, flick it, twist it, Flick it, pull it, flick it, twist it, flick it, flick it, pull it, bop it, spin it, spin it, bop it, bop it, bop it, pull it, flick it, twist it, flick it, flick it, twist it, flick it, twist it, bop it, uh, spin it, twist it, Flick it, uh, spin it, spin it, flick it, bop it, pull it, pull it, twist it, pull, ah, I got it messed up. Number eight. At number eight, it's called Killing the Illuminati's Code by Playing Bop It. And I basically made... I modified the Python code from the last video and decided to do it to the beat of the song Foil by Weird Al Yankovic, which is funny because the Illuminati is mentioned in that song. So that was my main reason for doing it. So check this out. Hey Google, resume. I never seem to finish all my food. I always get a doggy bag from the waiter. So I just keep what's still on shoe. And I take it home, save it for later. But then I deal with fungal rot, bacterial formation, microbes, enzymes, mold and oxidation. I don't care. I got a secret trick up my sleeve. I never bother with baggies, glass jars, Tupperware containers, plastic, cling wrap, really a no brainer. I just like to keep all my flavors sealed and tight with aluminum foil. foil. Never settle for is just the best to keep your sandwich nice and fresh stick it in your cooler, cooler. eat it when you're ready but maybe 
few here I was kind of debating on which ones were my most favorite but at number seven here we have bowling with a bop at extreme and this was just like a idea that I had you would literally twist it on an extreme to go left and right on with the bowling ball flick it up and down to adjust the um, curve and you spun it to make the ball roll. So I used a bow, I played a bowling game and screen recorded it and had me side by side with it. So here you go. Number six is Boppet Smash for the Google Home Mini. And I'm just going to say I've made three Boppet Smash Google Home videos. This one is the third one and probably the most improved one that I can think of. So here it is. Hey, Google. Play Bop It Smash. Okay, here's Bop It Smash. Hey there! Welcome to Bop It Smash. Now you can play one of the most exciting spin offs of the most popularly addictive game, Bop It, right here on your Google Home device. Here's how it works on your Google Home mini device, lights will flash and move around on the top of your speaker. The lights will flash either blue, green, or orange. Your job is to smash the light when it displays a blue light. To smash, touch both sides of your Google Home Mini at the same time. At the beginning of a round, the blue light will blink three times to show you where you need to smash. A blue light is worth five points. If you smash a green light, that's okay. That will only be worth one point. But if you smash an orange light, you will get zero points and lose a life. You have three lives in the game. If you lose all three lives, the game is over. If you have less than three lives and you smash a blue light, you gain a life, so that's a good benefit. 
If you get a blue light on all four rounds in a level, not only will you get the 20 points total for the lights you got, but you'll gain bonus points. It sounds simple, but in reality, it's not. If you ever want me to run these by you again, just say, hey Google, game help at any time. Okay, ready to play? Yes! Okay, here's level one. Cue the music. You killed it. You have five points. Rockin'. You have ten points. points. Booyah! You have 20 points. Perfect! 30 bonus points. Your final score is 50 points. You win! You did an amazing job! Wanna play again? No. Okay, no problem. Thanks for playing. Until next time... I'm going to sleep. Number 5 You've seen 15 videos already, and you still don't know which one is my all-time favorite. Here we get to the top five. And number five is the Bop It Inventor game concept and test mode, which was for Dan Klitzner's birthday in 2023. So I use AI for the voice and here it is. Check it out. Time to rock, let's do this. Bop it to start. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Bop it. Bop it. Twist it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Twist it. Bop it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Twist it. Bop it. Oh, we might need to make some improvements here. Score 23. Bop it to start. Pass it. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Pull it. Pass it. Bop it. Pull it. Pull it. Pass it. Twist it. Bop it. Oh, boy. Well, you're out. Back to the drawing board. So low, pass it. So low, loud, quiet, blasting. High score 23. Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. Pull it. Twist it. Uh oh, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Score five. Bop it to start. Let's take a break and keep brainstorming. Now, the test mode. So low. Inventor, US version. 65. Twist it. Bop it. Pull it.
bop it, twist it, pull it, pass it, high, score, congratulations. You're a bop it grandmaster. You beat bop it, bop it to keep going, bop it to start, solo, quiet, loud, blasting. Well, you're out. Back to the drawing board. That didn't work. Let's try it again. I remember my first time playing Bop It. We might need to make some improvements here. Very good. You're on your way. Killer dude. Hot Bop It. Action. Okay, that was amazing. Time to rock. Let's do this. Let's take a break and keep brainstorming. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Hmm. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, thirty, forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Number four. Going down at number four is my Bop It Extreme 2 2025 animation demo. It's for a concept that I had come up with. I made a longer version of this uh, concept, but I'm only showing you the short one to save time. So here is the demo. Bop it. Spin it. Twist it. Bop it. Pull it. Spin it. Twist it. Bop it. Yo! Come on, bro. That was my jam. Score seven. Number three. We are now down to the top three. Number three is the Xbox console first time setup and system update. Made the whole thing out of PowerPoint and added sound effects in later. So keep in mind, this does not speak. So it's mostly just sound effects of selections and stuff. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this. Here it is.
Number two. It was really hard to debate between the last two, but I would say number two is the 3D model dog that I based off of the Boppet Extreme 2022 for Boppet's anniversary. So here is that, and I am going to get this 3D printed real soon. Check it out. Finally, number one, my all-time favorite project was my April Fool's Day video from 2023. I literally titled it, I'm going to be so embarrassed and my life will be totally ruined after you guys see this video. You'll see why.
those are the top 20 favorite projects that, in my personal opinion, that I've made. I hope this was kind of fun for you guys. I know some of you were around back in 2020 and 2021. So this might be kind of a little bit of a trip down memory lane for you. Um, not necessarily for me, but you know what I mean. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you.